question that which aima is good and which aima is bad i think this question is now chronic question uh, i will request please don't ask such questions to the youtubers because a lot of youtubers are giving answers of such questions i will tell you currently aima is not giving you any option of selection of aima office what you will do for example fill in the blank aima is good but they are telling you lipson 2 is good for example and your aima is lipson 1 can you change the office in current uh, scheduled appointments uh, aima is a fixing office and uh, in earlier aima was giving you option of seven to eight offices and you have to select one office now currently they are selecting themselves the office which is closer to you the office where appointment is available they are giving you appointment number one number two second point is more important this question actually you waste the time uh, of asking youtubers and youtubers sometimes say hey, this office is good this office is bad for example if one office is good which i will give you answer later on which is good which is uh, bad in in current scenario in which uh, uh, aima uh, is uh, handling uh, much higher numbers of applicants and aima is in a very critical condition so which office is good which office is bad i will answer later on but just uh, i want to tell you for example uh, you will ask youtuber and youtuber this office is good for example that office is good lipson one is good how you will change there is no any option they will allocate just Lipson 2. They have allocated you Lipson 2. You have to go to Lipson 2. You must be thankful that you got biometric appointment. And you must be thankful to nature. You must be thankful to Portugal government. You must be thankful to new government. You must be thankful to AIMA. You must be thankful to yourself that you are in Portugal and you are lucky individual. You locked file. Locking of file is completely closed now. You must be thankful that you got a biometric appointment. A lot of people are waiting since 1.5 years and they did not get the biometric appointment. Now, sometime uh, we get all things and we became... Uh, uh, we we don't thanks to nature we don't thanks to other people sometimes this non-thinking attitude uh, we are we say no this is not good for me when things good things come to you you must be thankful yes this is very good for me and i will be successful uh, now i will tell you what is about the aima offices aima offices are handling the cases of migrants almost all at same level which AIMA is good, which AIMA is better. It was in some months back or some one year back in the era of SAF and in initial era of AIMA, where some AIMA officers were uh, handling uh, less migrants and they were giving TRC card little earlier. And some, some AIMA officers are in a very uh, rush condition. People were going more and they were uh, giving TRC card later on. And in, in some AIMA offices, in some IMA offices, uh, uh, their attitude was not good with migrants and they were delaying card more than three months, six months. And that's why this thing, this question became very famous in that tenure uh, that that IMA is good, that IMA is bad. Now currently, all IMA is suffering a huge rush of the individuals. Migrants are in a full flow and uh, emails, uh, uh, raining of emails were there, raining of biometric schedule is there. People are coming for biometrics, unlimited people, unlimited biometric appointments are given. Therefore, wherever you will go, they will handle you in same scenario. I think you will be in a good condition as well as in a bad condition. Good condition, I tell you. Good condition in the sense because now currently biometric is, uh, the IMA is very busy in biometric. They will not be able to interview much detail. It's the rules of all embassies of the world. When they are in a rush, they decide the applications little earlier and their verification system becomes little lower. It is um, yeah, the rush of the individuals. The number of the individual are inversely proportional to verifications. One over verification. This is the mathematical formula of a visa officer of all over the world. Similarly, when Australian students um, uh, so much applications are there, visa officer definitely has to decide the applications in hurry. Uh, courses are to be started, so he will not assess much in detail and will use common sense. So this would be in your favor. Wherever the IMA offices go with confidence, go with the optimistic attitude, go with hope, and I am very sure you will get your destination and you will get your TRC card. Therefore, uh, you should not think adversely, negatively. 
that uh, this IMA office will be good. This IMA, all IMA offices are currently now in same scenario. They all are in a same rush of the individuals. They are, uh, they all are uh, handling uh, 2022, 2023 applicants simultaneously at the same time. This is the historical time of the Portugal immigration. Never in history of Portugal immigration, immigration department, either SAF or IMA, could have been handled the huge number of backlog at same at same time. So therefore, wherever your office is, you must have only one answer. I did get biometric appointment or not. Yes, if you got biometric appointment, your questions are over. Now your uh, your even you are not much watching YouTube channel. You are just preparing your documents. What you are doing, you are ready to attend that session. You, if you will be double-minded, if you will be confused, if you will say that I will change my office, if you will if you'll ask a lot of questions, it will prick your mind and your mind will not be ready to present at a better way in front of a, uh, in front of IMA officer because that is your future. Those five minute, ten minute session at IMA technically is the passport of the Portugal. Technically is the seven years hard work which you will do there and you will get TRC definitely five years plus two years, almost seven years output. So if you are going to sacrifice that output and you want to diversify your mind, if you want to bifurcate your mind, if you want to deteriorate your mind and you want to divide your neurotransmitters because these are thinkings developed in the mind that this office is good, this office is bad. So when you will say that office is bad, that office become, become, will become bad for you. When you will say this office is good for you, this office will become good for you. So you must enter one point, inoculate one point into your mind. Number one, that I cannot change the biometric appointment. The office which is given, that is the office only by which I can get the success. This is the only solution of the problem. And here is the only way to get my TRC card. And in new uh, system, there are no options of changing biometric centers are given. So I have to select only date from, uh, I, I, I have to attend this biometric office. You will be clear and you will be mentally completely satisfied. And when you will be, when you will go with confidence to, to when you will prepare your mentally that I have to present in this office only and, uh, I, and I will be successful. Believe me, you will be successful. When you will diversify and divide your attention, no, this office is not good, I want to change. And you will put, consume your energies in changing biometric, which is not possible, I am confirming. Therefore, this question will definitely waste your time. Thank you very much.